From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi, Peter. Hi, Roger. And hi, listeners of Ropecast. You know, since we did a podcast on crossword puzzles, there seems to be quite a lot of interest in that. Mm-hmm. And most people react, great. react just as you did. These things are difficult. Well, they are. I mean, uh, especially the one you did is not any easier than the ones you find in newspapers, at least not to well, me. I tried to make it um, doable, shall we doable. say. Doable. Uh-huh. Yeah, but still. <laughs> but I thought maybe I should give a few more tips to people. Okay. Other things to look out for. I certainly would love that. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. Right. We have um, had a few examples of the techniques used by the compilers of Crossword Puzzles. Another technique they use is double definition. Mm-hmm. And this means you give two definitions of a single word. So here's one of my own. Mm-hmm. It simply says sweet and then semicolon, not sweet. So you're looking for a word, a word that, that can means... means a type of sweet, uh-huh. but always also in another sense is not sweet at all, rather the opposite. Okay, so not sweet would be something like sour, but you can't say that's sweet as well. So let's start with sweet as a noun. What would be uh, a synonym for, would you like a sweet? Oh, I, I um, candy. Yes, mm, or? Chocolate. Mm. What about if you're sitting down to a meal? Dessert. Exactly. Yeah. Dessert. So, Think, think of things that people might eat as a dessert. Pudding. Especially if you, if you go over the border here, we're very close to France, go over into France and you have a dessert. Hmm, what's that? They have wonderful Flan. fruit. Yeah. And fruit. Um, huh. I'm stumped. Oh, well, let me give it to you then. Tart. Ah, okay. Right. So as a noun... One type of sweet would be a tart. Yeah. Uh-huh. And as an adjective, the opposite of sweet would be possibly tart. Because oh, it's not God. the only opposite, but it's yes, one Yes, yes. So this, okay, this, so is, this is double definition. You see, one it's a noun, the other it's an adjective. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, tough one. Yeah? Did you make that up? I did. Oh, my God. It is difficult. <laughs> yes. Okay, another one. Go. Then the out-and-out out cryptic clue. Yeah where you have no help whatsoever. And the, the, the classic example here, this is not one of mine, this is uh, far right. too clever for me. <laughs> In front of you, you see you're looking for a five-letter word, okay. and the clue is H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. Which well, that's the middle of, of the alphabet exactly, somewhere. Exactly, yeah. Mm. And there, yeah, is no, so? there is nothing to help you except that you're looking for a five-letter word. Oh, God. I, I think we won't, and we won't bore our listeners by waiting for you to... Okay, help me, help me, <laughs> help me. Come on, come on. You have to think, what part of the alphabet is this? It's not... not, not well, it only goes from H to... O. Yeah. H to O? H to... No, no, wait, 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 wait. H2O is also water. Exactly. And that is a five-letter word. Oh, God. Now you got to be kidding. <laughs> As I said, that's it's not... It's fun, though. <laughs> it's not one of mine. Just, okay. just one more. If, if you master these things, you <laughs> can really speak English, can't you? <laughs> well, here's one which is, which is just a number. Mm-hmm. 014 or 014. O. Oh, zero, yeah. one, it's a number, right? Four. And you're looking for mm-hmm. a six-letter word followed by a five-letter word, which belong together. Six, five. And that's all you have in front of you. O? Oh? One, four. Well, it... Wait. It, that's a sentence, maybe. O oh, has one, four of them. Mm, you're going in the wrong direction, unfortunately. Mm. Sounds smart, though. Yeah. Just think of half this. What do you mean half this? Half of 014. 
half of 014 yeah. 07 the 4 is 14 no you've got 014 so you need 007 007 that would be half ah uh, okay and 007 is James Bond yeah who is an agent an agent right so now we get back to you want six five well agent is a five letter word yeah and what six letter word would go in front appropriately here um, it's not o o seven it's o one four so it has to be a double, double agent. agent yes ah we've got to stop this <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're blowing my mind here, um, and I'm pretty sure you're blowing every listener's mind with these things. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, we're promised we're going to make it easier on you next time, folks. But it was interesting. I have to admit that. Good. <laughs> but let's say goodbye for today. Bye. Bye bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Sarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.